What's up YouTube? I'm Michael and behind the camera is Ellie. We are the Bill Paying Hobbyists. This week, another product review. It was time to kind of scale down a little bit and move away from the full floor drill press and go to a bench top. So today we're gonna unbox this and see how well it works. Ready? Let's get to it. Okay, this is the Win 4214T. Win, I think I'm saying that right. Not Win, Win, W E N. And this particular model came with a tabletop that goes with it. I bought last year's model, the 2021, not the 2022. Actually, it's two years old now. Uh, it was cheaper and it came with this table. So we're gonna get it unboxed. Let's see how well they packaged it up. You can see that the bandage, the banding has gone into the box a little bit. We got some damage on the box. So hopefully once we get this open, it won't be damaged on the inside. It was pretty weighty. It's pretty weighty. It's 84 pounds. Is it seriously? Yeah, according to the shipping manifest, 84 pounds. So let's see how well it was boxed. And it looks like we need to lay it down this way. And cut her open this way. Checking it out, Logan, is it good? Is it all good? Yeah. All right, let's open it up. There we go. All right, so it looks like the styrofoam is pretty much intact except for right here, so it looks like it was dropped right on that. Hopefully that's nothing that got damaged because you can see, nope, not there, but here we've got a little bit of a indent on that. So we'll pull this off. Logan is offended. Just be aware when you stand up, you cut off your head. All right, so it looks like it was, this is just a handle crank for this and it seems to still work while it's in the box. So I think we're good there. Uh, you may think, why did you buy a WAN? Oh, they're so cheap. Well, all the reviews I've read and all the videos I watched on them for the price point, this is a supposed to be a really good drill press. So we're gonna find out. And the ever important instruction manual. That I would at least it's not me. that Elizabeth would ignore completely. <laughs> um, at least it's not like a one page instruction manual. So that's kind of good. So instruction manual, page one, please read completely. It's in English. That's always a good sign. Safety instructions. We don't care about those. I'm just kidding. Make sure you pay attention to your safety instructions. All right. Tool purpose. Know your drill press. Gives you a Display of everything in numbers at all, shows you what is what, that's good. Digital speed readout, on off switch, depth scale, very nice. Has a locking depth scale, which is really good. Packing list, gives you a packing list with everything that's supposed to be in there. So let's see if we got it all. I need a pencil. I guess I will use this because it looks like someone took my pencil. I did not. I have one pencil. I have always have that one pencil. Head motor assembly. Check. Plastic, huh? They could have made that metal, but 
It's plastic. That's all right. I guess, I mean, you're not lifting a house with it, so that's okay. So it looks like we have all of our parts according to the part list. And there's a speed handle that goes in right here because this, a lot of the drill presses like my old drill press, to change the speed of the actual drill, the chuck head, I had to change the location of the belts. This one, I have a handle here and I have a digital readout, which is really cool. And I can change the speed that way. So I just tighten this in here. And hopefully, with the tapers and the way it's done and that, that slap, make sure that it is seated straight so that you don't have a wobble when you put your drill, when you put your drill bit in and use it. So basically, your drill press is put together. That's it. It's done. So I can turn this. I have a lot, I have, it has double locking nuts on it, which is really cool, so I can, lock it in. I don't like the idea that it's this kind. My old drill press had a lever. I could just lock it in with one hand and do it. This you kind of got a spindle. So that's a little extra time. Nothing annoying or bad about it. But anyway, it locks it up and then goes there. And then I have a depth adjustment here as well. And you have two because you put one, you set it to where it is, and then you lock the other one to it because the vibration of your drill press is gonna cause it to move. So it kind of locks it in place. When you have a chuck with an Allen with a chuck key, you wanna tighten all three sides because it gets equal pressure all the way around. Spring loaded, nice. So you don't accidentally leave it in the chuck.
All right, so let's plug it in and see how this works. And there we go, it plugged in and it doesn't work. I'm just kidding. All right, so this one has a laser that is pointing down and we'll show you that and a light. That's really convenient, it's up here out of the way. My other one had the light way over here. I always had to move it and adjust everything. And it works, the light works pretty good, I like it. Turn it off, turn the laser off and we're gonna test the chuck, see if it turns. That thing is fast, way too fast. We don't want it to turn that fast. So let's turn it down a little bit. There we go. And you can see that it's going down and down and down and down and down and down and down. I need to get down more. There we go. That's nice. I normally turn at about, drill at about 600. So we're gonna test it and I'm gonna use the biggest bit I have, which is this inch and an eighth for Forstner bit. Let me learn how to talk. And because a bigger bit is gonna cause it to bog down if the motor's not strong enough and that's what I wanna test. So let's get it nice and tight. And granted, I'm only drilling into a piece of pine, but it'll give me an idea. Two and Three, all right. And can you see the piece of wood? I can. can you see the laser? I can. All right, so now we have the laser set up, so I'm gonna move my fence up so that it's, we're gonna go about right here. We're gonna set it up at two and two so that I'm there. See what we got. Very nice. Doesn't bog down. Goes in very nicely. Nice clean hole. That's awesome. I'm impressed. So there you have it. The Win 4214T drill press, tabletop drill press. It's got the lasers, it's got the light, it's got the safety switch, which is always good to have. Always good to have that little safety trigger switch. It's adjustable, digital readout, it's clean. It got a little bit of vibration to it, but it's not mounted either, so that's gonna dissipate some of it. I just need to make a table to put on the other side of my bench so that it's lower. This is way too high for me to go with, or to, to use. Uh, the handles are pretty sturdy, it feels smooth. I don't have a lot of play in it or, or give. It works very well. We've got double stop on it. it. It drills down, I think the length is what, three and an eighth is about the deepest it'll go as far as your throw goes, which is fine for what I use it for. If I need to go deeper, I'll use an extension or I'll just find a different way. It seems pretty sturdy. It's not super, super heavy. And again, the, the chuck and the arbor are straight. This thing turns. The bits are, are a lot straighter than my other one. Actually, my, my Craftsman, I had a little bit of slop in the drills, in the drill bits, and when it was going. So this is very nice. I'm impressed with it, I like it. Nothing was broken, which is really cool. And again, I, I think it's great. So if you're interested in buying one, I would recommend it. It works well. Again, this is the 2021 model that came with 
the roller extension bed, but if you use the table that comes with this one, it all came together for under $300. Um, you don't need the roller bed. Uh, it's good to have though, in case you're using long pieces, you have a long piece of wood or a longer piece, but the table does exactly what the extension did too. Let's see, the extension came out of here, so the table covers it anyway, so I don't need it. Um, everything works smoothly. It's, it's, I'm impressed, I like it. Next, next project is to build a table for this thing and put it right here and find somewhere else to put my trash can. So, hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, again, I recommend it. Good job, Wen, you did, you did really good. I was skeptical, I was really skeptical. Um, six months, maybe we'll do another review and see how, how well it's still holding up in, in, with use and go from there, so. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit a thumbs up. Please share. We really do appreciate it. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. We love you. It'd be really nice to have a plumb bob. Oh my God. You need more equipment. More tools. Why do you call that a tang when you also call the wiggly bits on the measuring stick tape a tang? Anything that sticks, that has a little tab on it, flat surfaces on like that, that's gonna hook or seats into something, they call it tang. Or do you not know the proper name? No.